All right, so we're back out here at the farm. Now, it is getting towards the end of the year here, and we still have some straw to bale. We are super behind on that because we were just getting corn harvest done, but that's finally done, so we can actually get around to baling that now. And as well, we got a ton of stuff to do around the farm. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton, and I appreciate it so much. Okay, so we're going to jump in the John Deere here. And uh, we're going to get this fired up, get going out to the field. We also have to go pick up some straw bales that I bailed, oh, what, about like two weeks ago? From a different field about uh, 15 minutes away from the farm. So we'll have to go grab those. I would like to uh, get the one field that we have to bale done, and then we'll get those straw bales back here. So lots of stuff to do today. Definitely going to be a busy day. All right, here we are. This field should not take too long. In fact, it's one of the smallest fields we have, I do believe. So pretty easy. Should only take us about 30 minutes at max. Also, this John Deere right here, it's getting traded in. I'm not going to say what just yet, and it's not getting traded in until probably late fall, just before winter. But all I'm going to say is it is newer. Well, unfortunately, I think we're only going to get four bales max out of this, which kind of sucks but oh well it's a pretty small field so kind of understandable but luckily we have that other field we did about two weeks ago with plenty of straw bales for us well it looks like we're not even gonna get four we're gonna get three and a half unfortunately but oh well if this field was like 20 minutes away i don't even think i'd even bother coming over here to bail it because it would be too much of a drive for three bales i wonder where that trail goes i don't know i'll have to check it out one of these days i have no idea where that actually goes all right, uh, we're going to park this baler somewhere. I already got the Cummins hooked up to the trailer there. That way we can haul some of those straw bales. I don't know what I'm going to load them with. We already got a tractor out at the other field about 15 minutes away from here, but I think I'm going to grab the International for the field. We're just right over there. If the International is good to go, which I think it should be. Oh, yeah, fire is right up. Perfect. Also got to feed the cows at some point today. All right, I'm going to take this tractor out to the field, and I think my brother will give me a ride back. He's just... uh grabbing some parts from town for us well he showed up is he is he coming out to the field or not i don't think he is must not want to get his truck dirty of course they wouldn't want to get the american force rims dirty all right well now that we're back i've got to pull the little three-wheeler out this thing's actually getting looked at today someone's buying it off of us hopefully i don't know we'll see they said they wanted to buy it at least. Now, the reason why I'm selling it is because I bought that Honda off the neighbor. Oh boy, we're drifting a little bit. So yeah, I bought this Honda. Pretty nice little machine. Gets me around the farm pretty good. All right, so I did want to wash off that baler and tractor, but I think that can wait till the afternoon. I think I'm going to hop in the Cummins here. We're going to go out to that field, grab some of those bales there, and then grab the uh, other bales out of that field. Complicated, I know, but got to be done. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so I ended up getting all the bales off that field we're just gonna grab the last ones off this other field here and then we should be good for straw this year i think and we have just enough for a perfect load which i guess lines up pretty good oh boy this field is softer than i thought it was we're kind of spinning quite a bit oh there's a good chance i might get stuck i don't know we'll see if it does i'll just grab the neighbor's case there and uh we should be able to get pulled out pretty quick i would say the international but i don't know that one's kind of being weird at the moment so for some reason or another, those other bales look like they're slightly different colors. Um, I think because those other ones sat in the field, not baled for quite a lot longer than these ones did. So I don't know, that straw might be a little more rotten than this stuff. But it's just for bedding, so it should work good. Now, if we're putting it in a mixed ration or something, if we're doing silage and stuff and you were mixing straw in, that's a bit more of an issue when you don't really want to have that straw like that. But this is just for bedding, so it should work perfectly fine. As long as it's pretty much dry, that means it's good. Of course, you don't want it too moldy, but this stuff should be fine, I think. Oh, boy, we're tipping a little bit. I think I maybe need some sort of a rear weight for this. This is why I want to get a different tractor. That's why we're replacing the John Deere. Oh, boy. This is exactly why we're replacing the John Deere. So I don't have to use this thing for loading hay so much. I really placed that bale on the top of there really wonky. Oh, well, hopefully it still works. Come on. This tractor is just not liking this hillside. Okay, whatever. It's just getting tossed on there at this point. Come on really not liking it well it's on there all right let's just put this right here for now okay let's hope that this cummins is now uh not stuck oh boy we're spinning a little bit that's for sure come on cummins well unfortunately i got myself into a spot where i pretty much dug out all of this area here and uh now my truck is really stuck i guess i kind of hit a uh soft spot here and it, with beefier tires this thing just created a hole for itself so now we get to go pull it out i'm gonna go call my neighbor here and see if we can just use his case over there i think it should work a little bit better than the massey because we got a full load of bales on here and uh i won't kind of want to be smart with this if i'm gonna pull it out 
I want to uh, pull it out first try. All right, so I just gave my neighbor a call. He said it's perfectly fine if I use the case here, and uh, this should do the job, I do believe. Oh, never mind. He just called me again, and he said uh, the case has an issue. Apparently, it has a hydraulic leak somewhere, or I, I don't even know. He didn't take that time to explain it. He just said uh, pretty much just use the John Deere. It'll be a lot better than the case. So I'm like, okay, whatever. As long as I can get it towed out, that's all I care. All right, so we got the John Deere here. Um, he said put on this back weight that he has for towing out vehicles. So I guess, I don't know. He says it works better or something. I don't know. I've never seen it before, so we'll see if it works. All right, we got the chain hooked up here. So I guess let's see if we can just pull this thing out. I don't know if this is actually going to work, but we'll see. Oh, we going. Oh, there we go. That works pretty nice. Can't complain with that. I got this thing in neutral, so we're just going to pull this thing right to the edge of the field because I do not want to get this thing stuck again, but it's going. So that's good. Yep. Right onto the road. There we go. Perfect. We're almost there. Yep. There we go. Nice. Okay. Well, that worked a lot better than I thought it would. I can't complain with that. All right. I'm going to take this thing back to the neighbors and uh, we'll get this thing back to the yard. I don't know if I'm going to unload those straw bales right now because I got a lot of other stuff to do, but uh, eh, I don't know. We'll see. You know what? This truck's probably going to need a wash, if anything. It is dirty now. That's for sure. I knew I should have really brought those bales to the edge of the field, but I was like, ah, you know what? It's probably not that bad in there. I can just pull the truck, but, uh, nope, nope. Uh, I messed up. <laughs> so that took us about, I don't know, 20 minutes longer than it should have, but oh, well, at least it's done now. Okay. And this is going to get parked right here for now until we have time to unload this. And uh, I got to wash this truck. Yeah, it needs to be washed pretty bad. Anyway, that guy should be here in about 15 minutes to come look at this uh, little three-wheeler. I don't know. I really didn't want to sell it, but at the same time, I kind of want to get rid of it because it's just taking up space in the shop. So yeah, it's just kind of one of those things. But what I got to do today as well is uh, organize this entire place because it is getting pretty messy. I don't know. I got to get my skid steer back from my brother. I don't know where he put that. I have to give him a call, see where it is because I got to move the buckets. I got attachments in here. I got to move. I got a lot of stuff to do. Well, look who decided to bring back my skid steer. Well, good. At least we have it now. We've also got to get ready for uh, tillage. We're a bit behind on that as well. We're behind on pretty much everything we can be. But uh, that means the duels go back on this thing. And uh, got to get the uh, plow out of the shed here. But I'm going to get to work on cleaning up this place, getting everything ready to go for the last like two weeks of uh, farm work. All right, so I'm going to get the skid steer unloaded here. And then we got to move that cedar. We got to move a few skid steer attachments. All that fun stuff. I need like some sort of a rack where I can just put my skid steer attachments. That way I don't have to just put them all over the shop floor. That'd be nice. The mower, I don't believe we're going to need that anytime soon, at least for the rest of the year here. So where can it go? It can go in the shed for now. We'll probably put it back in the shop later, but for now it can be out here until we get somewhat of an organized state in the shed. Got to move the good old cedar out of the way here. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, I do believe we're actually getting somewhere now. This looks a little bit better. Got to wash off the good old John Deere, even though it's getting put right back to work probably sometime this week, if we have good weather. Pretty happy with this Vermeer that we bought to replace the old John Deere. It's doing pretty good. I like it. Makes some good bales. Okay, I do believe I like how this is organized now. This is good. We have plenty of room to uh, park pretty much anything else we need in here. We have a few things in that quant set there, but that's mostly just uh, hang stuff and whatever else. I did want to move this uh, hay tether here, but I don't know where I'm going to move it to. Of course, I still got to unload this uh, hay here, wash off this Dodge, which is uh, pretty much caked in mud at this point. I don't know. Oh, and then I got to set up the duels for this John Deere over here. I don't know where the, where are even my duels? I don't know. They got to be somewhere around here. I'm sure I put them in the bush somewhere, most likely, because that's uh, usually where I put stuff I forget about. Oh, yeah. I kind of forgot about this thing. I stripped most of the paint down off of it, and uh, I completely forgot about it. I should probably work on this. Hmm. Maybe it's my winter project. It was supposed to be, like, last year's winter project, but I don't know what happened to that. Who knows? I don't know where that guy is to buy that three-wheeler. You should... I'll, I'll text him, see where he's at. But uh, anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the pond.